My name is Brad Wingo, Assistant Dean of Students at the school. And I would like to welcome you to our Stronger, Better Together 2020 A Year to Celebrate event. This has been an unprecedented year, to say the least, filled with new challenges, new ways of working, and new opportunities. One thing that I've personally noticed over 2020 is that each and every one of you have responded to this unique year with poise and determination. Those of you who know me appreciate that I love Tar Heel basketball. I'm also a huge fan of the late Dean Smith. Coach Smith even personally autographed a hat for me on my first wedding anniversary some years back and it's still very, very important to me. When thinking about celebrating accomplishments, I believe Coach Smith said it best. I do believe in praising that which deserves to be praised. In short, that's why we're here today. You've each risen to the occasion in creative and innovative ways, and we're here today to celebrate and to thank you. To get started, I wanna direct you to the chat box. Here you'll find a link to a poll everywhere. Let's take a minute to click on the link and share what we are thankful for here at the UNC Eshelman School of Pharmacy. We'll reveal answers at the end of the event. There's never been a year quite like 2020. We face the challenges with grit and determination and ingenuity, and also with dignity and grace. And we've managed to accomplish great things as we've worked together while apart. We received our ACPE certification. We graduated a total of 169 future healthcare leaders across our professional and graduate degree programs. We seamlessly transitioned over 700 PharmD and master students to online learning, not once, but twice. We introduced a new one plus three PharmD model for the Asheville campus. We launched the Drug Discovery Initiative, or DDI, which provides access to a DNA encoded library of more than 500 billion compounds that accelerates drug target screening. We ramped up 14 labs to accelerate work on COVID-19 research. We launched the Ready Initiative to be better prepared for the next pandemic. We generated nearly $40 million in research funding. We published our diversity, equity, and inclusion plan to ensure that our school better reflects the populations we serve. We moved up to ninth in the QS World University rankings. We rose to fourth in the academic rankings of world universities. And we're number one. We're, we're number, number one. one. We're, we're number, number one. one. We were ranked the number one school pharmacy in the United States by US News and World Report for a second straight time. Number one for the second time in a row. Congratulations. And thank you for making a difference in patients' lives. Number one, congratulations, UNC Eshelman. Keep up the great work. Congratulations to everyone at the school. You're truly leading the way in education, research, and practice advancement. Congratulations to Dean Kashuba and the entire Eshelman team. Everyone at Carolina is really proud of the work you are doing. Congratulations to everyone at the UNC Eshelman School of Pharmacy. Thank you for the work you're doing to help people live longer, healthier lives across North Carolina, in the United States, and around the world. Go Heels. We are stronger together. We are better together. We are the UNC Eshelman School of Pharmacy, and we are advancing medicine for life. Stronger. Better. Together. UNC Eshelman School of Pharmacy, advancing medicine for life.
Well, hello everyone. My name is Mary McClurg and I'm thrilled to be here with you today. Um, that's quite an act um, that I have to follow. And um, what I'd like to do is just recap some of the highlights that we heard here. Um, obviously to kick it off earlier this year, we were named the number one pharmacy school in the country for a second year in a row or a second time in a row. We ranked second for global universities in pharmacology and toxicology with US News and World Report. We moved up to number four in the world for pharmacy and pharmaceutical sciences rankings from the academic rankings of world universities. And we moved up to number nine in QS world university rankings for pharmacy and pharmaceutical sciences. But it's not just about the rankings here. This year, under the leadership of Carla White and Ami Patel, we launched our diversity, equity, and inclusion strategic plan that will help us become a diverse and inclusive community of people who accelerate new thinking and ideas across education, research, and practice. We also launched the Office of Wellbeing and Resilience under the leadership of Director Susie Harris, one of our faculty members. Um, in addition, we've launched a new website um, devoted to wellness that focuses on the eight dimensions of wellness that you see here. Despite the pandemic, we have maintained wonderful ties with Farm Alliance, our collaboration with Monash University in Australia, University College of London, and the school. In fact, we've made this year's event even bigger and better than four. Our annual Farm Alliance meeting was shifted to virtual this year, and we had more than 800 attendees and 16 sessions. We also welcomed five new faculty members based both on Chapel Hill and in Asheville this year. And we welcomed 15 new staff members who either joined our team as new individuals or shifted into new roles within the organization. And one day soon, when we're all together again, we'll enjoy the renovations that have been taking place in both Beard and Carr Halls. A special shout out here to Wayne Pittman, Chris Allen, and Randy Stutz for their tireless efforts in making this work continue to happen. And finally, if we look at our campaign for Carolina, we're so proud of all that we've been able to accomplish. In fiscal year 2020 alone, we've secured $17.9 million in awards and gifts toward the campaign for a total to date of $166.7 million. We want to thank all of you for all that we've been able to accomplish as a school, despite the hurdles of 2020. Thank you all. Education is at the heart of our mission at the UNC Eshelman School of Pharmacy. We are preparing the next generation of leaders in pharmacy and pharmaceutical sciences with our PharmD, Master's, and PhD degree programs. Today, we have over 8,000 alumni in North Carolina, across the United States, and in 28 countries around the world who are working across many settings of care to help people live longer, healthier lives. We are extending our reach across our state and helping develop the workforce for a healthier North Carolina through our partnerships with North Carolina Area Health Education Centers. Our Rural Health Scholars Program on our Asheville campus prepares student pharmacists to serve the healthcare needs of those living in rural and underserved communities. We continue to expand access to world-class educational opportunities for students through our digital learning initiatives. Our new online master's program lets practicing pharmacists earn their degree in health system pharmacy administration while continuing to work. Soon, we will be adding new online degrees and certificate programs to address the rapidly changing needs of patients, the healthcare system, and learners. Our continuing education programs provide ongoing professional training for over 12,000 North Carolina pharmacists and pharmacy technicians annually to ensure that they continue to advance the knowledge and skills needed to deliver excellent patient care. Our outstanding faculty, Center for Innovative Pharmacy Education and Research, and the Office of Next in Education are working together to ensure that we continue to be at the forefront of teaching and educational innovations. 
We are preparing tomorrow's practitioners to make a difference in the health of people in North Carolina, across the United States, and around the world. At the UNC Eshelman School of Pharmacy, everything we do begins and ends with the patient in mind, and that starts in the classroom. We are the UNC Eshelman School of Pharmacy, and we are advancing medicine for life. Good afternoon, everyone. This is Wendy Cox, and I'm so thrilled to talk about some of our education and practice advancement accomplishments. I'll start with accreditation. This year, under the leadership of Joellen Rogers, we held a successful ACPE reaccreditation site visit that took a tremendous team effort. While there were so many involved in this effort, I'd like to give a special shout out to Jennifer Fox, and to Pam Joyner. Pam came out of retirement to help us secure our accreditation for the next eight years. So thank you to everyone involved. This fall, we welcomed 706 students to our school. We graduated 169 healthcare leaders. Of those graduates, 149 were PharmD graduates. This group secured the second highest residency match rate in the nation, and 88% received their first or second choice position. These graduates also had over a 97% first time pass rate on the NAPLEX. Of our graduates, six were rural pharmacy scholars focused on improving health care in underserved populations in North Carolina and beyond. This year, we also implemented a new Asheville campus model where students begin their first year on our Chapel Hill campus and have the option to transition to our Asheville campus for their second and third years. Since our shift to online instruction in the spring and again this fall, more than 144,000 participants have attended more than 40,000 sessions logging an impressive 251,880 instructional hours. Truly amazing. And in the midst of all of this, we launched a new online master's program under the leadership of Stephen Eckel and Katherine Morbitzer. In our new virtual environment, our ITPS conference welcomed more than 300 participants from seven countries. At the conference, one participant said, I feel very honored to be able to listen to the lectures of the world's top pharmaceutical scientists. This completely ignited my enthusiasm for pharmaceutical research, and I hope that I can develop this field in the future. This year, we launched six new fellowship programs, including two with industry sponsors. We renewed our Carolina Cancer Nanotechnology Postdoctoral Training Program, thanks to Sasha Kavanaugh for leading these efforts. We also renewed our strong partnership and patient care program with UNC Health for another five years. And more than 12,000 people participated in our continuing education programs. Nice job, Austin Companion and Josh Guffey for your leadership here. I want to extend a thank you to our students, staff, and faculty for your perseverance, flexibility, and commitment during a challenging year. What you have accomplished has been nothing short of incredible. Thank you. vibrant young student diagnosed with a deadly glioblastoma, the firefighter stricken with ALS, the husband watching the love of his life lose her battle with cancer, the daughter who is trying to manage her elderly mother's complex medication regimen, the little girl living with a rare and deadly disease, the 38 million people worldwide living with HIV or AIDS. It's patients like these who drive our researchers and scientists to develop treatments for the world's most challenging health problems. Five divisions focusing on drug discovery, delivery, and optimization. Patient-centered, team-based care and patient outcomes. 
three research centers working on the world's most challenging health issues, ranging from cancer and cardiovascular disease to neurological disorders and medication management. 14 labs aggressively pursuing vaccines and treatments for COVID-19. Over 100 scientists and researchers relentlessly pursuing solutions for a healthier world. Multiple collaborations with biopharma, academia, and government, as well as industry fellowship partners to accelerate the discovery of treatments and cures. We believe that knowledgeable people who care for others and work together can conquer pain, sickness, and disease. We are the UNC Eshelman School of Pharmacy, and we are advancing medicine for life. So we have already seen so many things that we're thankful for this year, and our efforts in the research space are no different. This year, we secured $39.3 million in research funding, a new record. We continue to rank as the number two school of pharmacy in research funding in the nation, but we're closing in on that number one spot. When you're as successful as we've been in generating research funding, there's not enough time to recognize everyone who has contributed to this record year but I would like to share some highlights from this calendar year's top research funding leaders in our divisions. Starting with CBMC, I'd like to recognize Lindsay James, Stephen Fry, and David Drury, who have all received multiple grants totaling over $7 million. In DPMP, Christy Ainsley, Sam Lai, and Zhao Zhao combined to bring in nearly $6 million in research funding. In DPET, Gowry Rao and Aaron Heinsen joined me in generating over $5 million in research funding. Stephanie Ferrari, Sashi Ozawa, and Molly Scott led the way for PACE, topping $1.4 million. And last but not least in DPOP, we have Delicia Carpenter, Betsy Sleeth, and Jennifer Lafata generating about $1 million in research funding. In addition to our researchers, we also have had many of our scientists uh, taking on the world's most pressing health issues. Today, we have 17 researchers in 14 labs working on COVID-19. We are so proud of your efforts and hard work. And in order to prevent the next pandemic, our Eshelman Institute for Innovation helped launch the rapidly emerging antiviral drug discovery initiative, aptly called READY, with the goal of raising $500 million to develop five new antiviral drugs. In addition, we launched the Drug Development Initiative which provides access to a DNA encoded library containing 500 billion compounds that accelerates drug target screening. We also established the university's first CRISPR screening facility. And this year, 11 of our faculty were awarded patents. Congratulations to all of you. We also saw success in our Virtual Carolina Nano Formulation Workshop and Nano Medicine Drug Delivery Symposium, which was led by Sasha Kavanaugh. That topped 800 virtual participants, the largest turnout in 18 years. So a big thank you to all of you who are involved in our research enterprise, our scientists, researchers, the grants office, and staff. Our fantastic success this year in research and innovation would not have been possible without all of you. Twenty twenty has been a year like no other. It has been both challenging and incredibly rewarding. Despite all of the difficulties, we have managed to have an unbelievable year thanks to everyone in the Eshelman community.
Thank you, Dean Nikki Ryder and the experiential team for ensuring we were able to make our immersion rotations and stay on track for graduation. Thank you, Jason Martin and the EdTech team for a seamless transition to online learning. We did not miss a beat. Thank you to all of our PharmD, PhD, and master's program students for being so resilient and engaged. You have inspired us all with your dedication. Chris Parrish and Ava Vargason, thank you for your leadership in representing all the professional and graduate students and for maintaining a strong sense of community during these difficult times. Thank you, Amanda Corbett and all of the course directors for making sure we continue to provide our students with high quality instruction. I want to send a big thank you out to all of our research labs, including the 14 that are doing COVID-19 research. Thank you to all our alumni and friends who continue to support our school and make it possible for us to prepare the next generation of leaders in pharmacy and pharmaceutical sciences. Thank you, Brittany Jennings and Grayson Mendenhall for keeping us connected together and up to date with our newsletters, email updates, and FAO website. Thank you to Caroline Sasser and Laura Bratch for their leadership in moving our Farm Alliance meeting completely online this fall. We were able to have over 800 attendees participate virtually across three continents. It was a great success due to you. Thanks so much. Thank you, Dr. Harris, for your leadership on wellness and resilience for the school. The resources and guidance you're providing are helping us all better manage in these very tough times. Special thanks also to our research administration team. They have been amazing this year in processing all of the grants and contracts that have come through in 2020. In June, we held the Innovations and Transformations in Pharmaceutical Sciences entirely online. We had over 300 participants from eight different countries join us to learn about pharmaceutical sciences careers. This would not have been possible without Laura Brash, Shania Wong, and Sarah Descanio. Thank you all. Thank you, Carla White and Ami Patel for everything you are doing to make our school community more diverse and inclusive. Thank you, Brad Wingo and the Office of Curriculum Student Affairs for ensuring that our students are supported during this time and throughout the year. And also thanks for taking the lead on recruiting and interviewing our next generation of pharmacy leaders. Thank you, Dave Maldonado and the IT team for keeping us plugged in and efficiently working from home. I would like to wholeheartedly thank all members of our well-being committee for keeping well-being and resilience at the forefront of all of our minds. Thank you. It is impossible to recognize everyone for their contributions over this past year. You all have been amazing in the face of truly difficult times. Thank you to the entire Eshelman community, students, faculty, staff, alumni, and friends. Because of you, we are truly stronger and better together. As everyone has, has seen so far, there's been a tremendous amount accomplished in 2020. This work isn't possible without each of you. I'd like to take a few minutes to recognize some of our learners, faculty, staff, alumni, and friends. For our PharmD students are excelling here on campus nationally and internationally. They are leading national student organizations, presenting at professional conferences, and taking top honors with the highest recognition for their work. Our PhD students continue to secure top honors, fellowships, and scholarships. Our faculty and all the Five divisions have been discussed so far, continue to shine as we've, as we've already talked about, but we would love to thank a few additional individuals across the divisions. Congratulations to the CBMC team, Dr. Lawrence, Dr. Lee, and Dr. McGinty. Within our DPMP team, as mentioned earlier, and continuing with Leaf and Sam, excellent work continues. For our DPET team, 
Dean Kashuba, Dean Brower, Dr. Mosdell, Dr. Lucas, Dr. Molina, and Dr. Caprini. Our PACE team, it's a long list. Some of you have already seen Dr. Sanders, Dr. Ferreri, Dr. Harris, Dr. McClurg, Dr. Shepard, Dr. Morbitzer, Dr. Savage, Dr. Sanders, and Dr. White. And continuing with the team, Dr. Eckel, Dr. Asawa, Dr. Williams, Dr. Shrewsbury, and De Dean Scott. Our DPOP team is previously mentioned, but continuing with Dr. Roberts, Dr. Thorpe, and again with Dr. Sleeth. It's a unique time for the school. We have so many people with distinct numbers of years of service, but we have two individuals who have retired or will actively retire this year. Dr. Sue Blaylock from our DPOP team and Dr. Wayne Pittman, faculty within the DPET, but also many years as a dean within the office of the dean within the Eshelman School of Pharmacy. They will be missed. We would like to recognize several staff members who received awards throughout the year as well. Congratulations to the work with our media team and individuals within that team that have received awards throughout the years. This year, Joel Flood being recognized with two awards, the Hermes and the Telly Award. And this year marked a, a year for celebration continuation with the Phyllis Smith Award and in our second year of having the Staff Impact Awards, which we will virtually honor on December 17th. We've had almost 100 nominations for these awards this year, and we look forward to celebrating with those recipients in two weeks. And our school wouldn't be the same without our preceptors as an extension of our faculty and the individuals that help mentor many of our students. To Dr. Chichi and Dr. Kim, recipients of this past year's Claude Paoloni Preceptor of the Year Award. And to our alumni and friends, that many of this would not be possible without a few this year, Paul Stevenson, Alan Cato, Debbie Montague, Tom Thutt, Cheryl Wessa, and Nader Monterey. And with that, I would love to turn it back over to Dean Kashuba to close us out. We are truly stronger, better together. Thank you, Scott. Good afternoon, faculty, staff, learners, preceptors, alumni, and friends. It's an absolute pleasure to see you here today. I miss you like a lot. <laughs> we have about 200 on the line and I am thrilled that we can come together virtually to celebrate your many incredible accomplishments of 2020. So I know everything is not rosy and I know you are stressed and anxious and tired from changes in the way you've had to teach, practice, conduct research, tired from endless Zoom calls, uh, lack of delineation between home and work, I'm with you. You have had to learn so much so fast during this pandemic. There's currently a lack of predictability in this environment, a lack of stability um, and unanticipated interruptions of our day to day with childcare and elder care issues and others. But even when buried under all of this chaos, you still shine. And this week has been a week to celebrate you and to thank you and to remind you that you make us number one. And to ask you to take some time to be proud of all that you have accomplished. I hope you've had a chance to look at our celebration website where we've shared dozens of stories of our learners, educators, researchers, practitioners, faculty, staff, and alumni who make this school the top pharmacy school in the country. It's the faces behind this great work that makes us successful, and that's you. 
each of you make us stronger and better together. This year, we were once again named the number one doctor of pharmacy program in the country by US News and World Report. And those rankings are based on feedback from all accredited pharmacy schools in the US, and they are published every four years. This is the second time in a row that our great school has secured the top position. And while this year there was no Ramseys and no cheerleaders, no Lorelei's or dinners or cocktails, I want you to know that I am so proud of you for this accomplishment. And I have a strong feeling it is not the last time we are number one. In March, many of you helped us hold a successful site visit of the Accreditation Council for Pharmacy Education, which has resulted in the maximum eight year accreditation for us. And preparations for that visit included creating an elaborate report for the site committee and preparing many hours for that visit. I want to say a very big thank you to Joellen Rogers and to Wendy Cox, who were leading this effort. And I believe we still owe the entire committee and section leaders of vacation for the hard work they did for over a year and a half to prepare for this successful outcome. We achieved several other milestones since our number one ranking and accreditation visit, including a five year recommitment to our partnership in patient care and to Pharma Alliance. It also included graduating our first class of pharmacy students under our new innovative award-winning PharmD curriculum. We awarded millions in research funding from the Eshelman Institute for Innovation. We secured the ninth position in the 2020 QS World University rankings and the fourth position in the world in pharmacy and pharmaceutical sciences by the 2020 academic ranking of world universities. During this time, in addition to facing the pandemic, we also struggled to understand the racial injustices in this country. And we learned a lot about the struggles of our own black and indigenous people of color within our school. And with an unwavering commitment to seeing real change, Dr. Carla White's office launched a new diversity, equity and inclusion strategic plan for the school with transparency and also with accountability. We are absolutely working together to develop inclusive, adaptable, and agile healthcare professionals who are committed to leading in practice research and education. Now, over the past year, our faculty continued to pursue bold ideas that will lead to discoveries of new treatments for patients worldwide. This year, our school secured the second spot among pharmacy schools across the nation in total research funding bringing in more than $39 million through 91 funded investigators. And of those awards, more than 30 million was secured from the National Institutes of Health by 60 investigators. And the word on the street is that for the next reporting period, we may be up to 46 million in research funding, an increase within a year of $7 million. To all of those working tirelessly to secure grant funding and to move scholarship forward, you rock. Sasha Kavanov, I am so proud that you've secured another five-year renewal of your Carolina Cancer Nanotechnology Training Program. I know you're going to continue to inspire curiosity and spark ideas in the next generation of student scientists. Faculty, you have bolstered partnerships through our Global Farm Alliance, through the Eshelman Institute for Innovation and Pinnacle Hill. Carolyn Wells and David Steve and Laura Brash, I want to thank you for successfully organizing our first ever virtual Farm Alliance Month that as you heard brought together more than 800 participants. Your hard work facilitated and demonstrated how we can incorporate Farm Alliance activities into our daily lives and it absolutely renewed our enthusiasm for this important partnership. John Bamforth, many thanks to you and the EII team for going all in on a groundbreaking concept called READY and for working across our campus to develop a new partnership called the Drug Discovery and Development Initiative or DDI, bringing CRISPR and DNA encoded library screening technology to all of our campus investigators. And to Lindsay James, we are so proud of you for securing Pinnacle Hill's first ever project agreement. I know that your novel research on multiple myeloma will help so many patients. And to the SGC, I wanna thank you for making Lindsay's work possible. 
And speaking of our research enterprise, I would be remiss if I didn't mention that this year was Dr. K. H. Lee's 50th anniversary at the school. Now that is an accomplishment. Dr. Lee, you are an inspiration in your love of science. Faculty are also helping to advance the role of pharmacists in public health, focusing on medication optimization, improving patient outcomes, and providing patient-centered, team-based care. They are training our students in the effectiveness and costs of medications, how to optimize the medications that patients are taking, and the impact of drug policies on health outcomes in vulnerable populations. With our educational endeavors, our faculty pivoted seamlessly to online teaching, not once, but twice. And this work was not easy, but you managed to stay together, to collaborate, and to define best practices in online learning to make the experience a positive one for all of our students. Our experiential education program was put into a very challenging position this year with COVID-19. Yet Wendy Cox, Nikki Ryder, and the entire Office of Professional Education team were able to preserve student opportunities with some impact, but minimal impact compared to what other schools have been facing. I want to offer congratulations to all faculty on this incredible feat. I am so proud and I am so grateful for what you have accomplished. Now I could spend the next two hours mentioning how each faculty member has contributed to the success of the school this year, but obviously my time is limited. So just know that I am so thankful and appreciative of each one of you. No matter your division or your scope of work, each of you has epitomized that every day begins and ends with the patient in mind. Know that what you do is truly commendable. Now to our staff members. Last year, I told you that you are the heartbeat and the foundation of our school. This year, it has become evident more than ever. I have watched you support our students as they have worked through the ramifications of the pandemic, always being there for them to help them through any issue. I've seen the tremendous high level, excellent support for grant funding opportunities. You've also analyzed and improved our school's budget processes You've managed a massive construction project to upgrade our building, and you have supported all of the online teaching infrastructure needed for seamless transitioning and functioning of our educational enterprise. You have made sure each of us are trained in the latest technologies for the classroom. You've built countless educational videos. You've facilitated the recruitment and hiring of many wonderful colleagues and daily promoted the great work being done at the UNC Eshelman School of Pharmacy. And I want to give a special thanks to Stan Parker and his marketing and communications group for working tirelessly to put together this week-long celebration for all of us. And finally, our foundation staff has been hard at work, as you saw, raising over $4 million in current and planned gifts to the school, in addition to contracts and grants. To our future leaders in healthcare, our learners, it has been incredible to watch you flourish this year you have shown determination and resiliency. You've rallied together to support each other during these difficult times. The summer mentoring program that our PharmD students initiated when some of our students weren't able to attend rotations is an incredible testament to that. The rallying of graduate students together to support each other is another. I am so proud of your passion, of your creativity, and your dedication to improving health locally and globally. You've submitted award-winning abstracts. You place first in the ASHP National Clinical Skills Competition, and you served on national student committees. And Alia Cruz, we are so excited to watch you lead your peers as the president-elect of the Student National Pharmaceutical Association. To our alumni and friends, thank you for your unwavering support of the school. Your enthusiastic engagement with our students, with our curriculum, with our strategic planning, and our new initiatives, such as our diversity, equity, and inclusion plan has helped us stay at number one. Your financial support of the school allows us to train the best and the brightest and to continue to stay on the vanguard of what we do. Through all we have experienced this past year, 
We have such an extraordinary ability to rise up, to pull together, and to support each other. It is such a privilege to work with each and every one of you. Together, we will leverage this year's progress and momentum. We will continue to focus on our people. We will continue to focus on the great state of North Carolina. And we will continue to build innovative research programs and strategic partnerships. Shortly, you'll receive this year's impact report, which will reflect on all of these incredible accomplishments. I encourage you to take some time to read it and to congratulate yourselves for work well done. As we finalize our strategic plan, I look forward to what lies ahead as we move beyond number one in our relentless pursuit of advancing medicine for life. Thank you again from the bottom of my heart for what you have done and what you continue to do for the UNC Eshelman School of Pharmacy. Congratulations to you all. Now, if I don't speak to you before, I also want to wish you a peaceful, restful, joyous, and safe winter holiday. And I look forward to the day when we are all back together again. Thank you, go Heels, and go Pharmacy. Thank you, Dean Kashuba. Amid all its twists and turns, it's evident that 2020 has really been a great year uh, for our school. Our faculty, staff, and students and alumni have made wonderful contributions that have not only impacted our school, but also the state, the country, and the globe. Even in these difficult times, we have so very much to be thankful for. Let's spend a couple of minutes reviewing your thankfulness submissions from earlier this afternoon. So as you can see from the graphic here, uh, again, we have a lot to be thankful for, it, even in a difficult, di difficult year. You can see some of the themes here. Our colleagues obviously are wonderful and make the school a great place to live, learn, and, and grow. Uh, we're thankful for our students. I often share with our prospective students at Candidates Days that, that you are the best part of this school and that without you, none of this works. Our faculty, our world-class faculty, as you can see, a supporting culture at the school, collaboration uh, and working together across divisions, across initiatives. Our Dean, uh, Dean Kashuba, obviously we're very thankful for her uh, and her leadership uh, during what's been a, a difficult, uh, challenging uh, first year on the job. So um, there's much to be thankful for and we'll have much to be thankful for uh, in the future. Again, congratulations on a job well done for 2020. It's been a wonderful year. It's been unexpected and unusual, but it's been great all the same. I think we all look forward with anticipation to 2021 and what it holds for us and what we can continue to accomplish together as Farmley. Thank you for joining us this afternoon. We hope you have a great Friday and a great weekend. Take care.